Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us, and we are His people. Enter, enter his, court, his gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name, for the Lord is good and His love endureth forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. The Bible says the Lord is good and His love endures forever. So all together, let's say, God is good. All the time. Amen.
that's what we're gonna do. Let us pray the name of the Lord. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our
Let us look up to God in prayer. It is good to be together, God Almighty, in this hour of prayer and worship. With these people, special people, together listening for your voice, united by your spirit. We come to worship you, God Almighty, and we long for comfort. We come longing for your light because our lives are crowded with shadows. We come desperately needing direction. Fill us this afternoon with your peace. Your spirit is our peace, our guide, and our path. In your arms this afternoon, can our distress subside? In this time of worship, in this time of prayer and praise, it tells about your kingdom of holiness and kindness so that we can seek it. Show us your justice. Give us a glimpse of your loving will. We want to walk with you humbly, closely, every day. In the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our prayer meeting, the last that we have for this month. And allow me to read to you our text for today. It is from Psalm 103 verses 1 to 2 and in verses 9 to 13. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his kind deeds. In verses 9 to 13, it says, He will not always accuse us nor harbor his anger forever. He has not dealt with, our, with us according to our sins or repaid us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his loving devotion for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. This is the word of the Lord. As it is the last Wednesday of November and almost every church already is done with their Thanksgiving celebration, ang aton iya tapuson or i-conclude natin ang aton nga Thanksgiving this uh, month or paagi sa sini nga pagpamalandong. Of course, every day is a Thanksgiving day and it is not limited sa November lamang bulan. Actually, I have read from an article in the internet about Filipinos actually holding Thanksgiving or pasasalamat when there is an important milestone like passing a professional exam, graduation, or recovering from illness, homecoming or owning a new home and many more daw kada lang may maayong uh, balita naga celebrate sang thanksgiving but sometimes these are just mere celebrations in a way that our efforts are put out on the preparations for the festivities rather than the actual thanksgiving or emphasizing the achievements instead of glorifying God instead who is the source of those blessings nga ginbato naton or honoring the people instead of worshiping God. I hope it is not the way we do thanksgiving in our lives. And to conclude this month's theme, let me count the ways. Let us count something else. No, hindi na iya ang mga maayo, ang mga bagay na nagtakalanabo sa aton. But those things that are not, things that did not, and things that would not, ang mga bagay na hindi wala nagkalanabo sa aton, kag hindi gid matabo sa aton. Kay hindi inapagi allow sa atin yung ginoo. Uh, part of this uh, meditation, uh, gin preach or gin share command sa elementary thanksgiving. Maybe you have heard the phrase, buti na lang or mayo lang ba? Because these are also included in the lyrics of Psalm 103. If you notice, gin cut ko ang atun nga verses, hindi ang whole chapters, a uh, whole Psalm 103, but those precise verses where the prominent word is not. Or words that are negations because for now I want us to focus our thanksgiving to the things that didn't happen where we can say, Mayo lang ba? Or mabaka buti na lang talaga. So praise God for those things. Number one, Mayo lang, hindi siya mag-accuse. I like to use the English word instead of its translation in Hiligay non. Do you know why? Because unlike Satan who is the accuser, God will not always accuse us. You see, if ever there is one being who have all the information to build a case against us, it would be God. Pero buti na lang talaga. He is not our accuser. He does not accuse. Other translations use the word chide instead of accuse. The word chide means rebuke or scold. It is to some degree lesser in impact compared to being accused, no? Though husgado, na ginaya ko na ako sarka, pero kung uh, child or gina-rebuke lang, tita medyo akig-akig lang gawa, no? But come to think of it, if we are always being scolded or rebuked in human perspective, such an atmosphere creates tension, no? Pero may lang kigan, tiga ka-tension ang isa ka lugar, ang isa ka space. No? Pero may ka lang ka batid akig, it builds up anger, para man sa si imo nga ginakigan and somehow inner turmoil man i basic ga ka guilty ka na which should be aware hindi na kinanglan dapat nga kigan nga magbatsa kita sa guilt we really don't favor naggers right pero buti na lang god will not always accuse nor always chide nor rebuke nor always scold at least from time to time kabati man ta akik pero hindi gid permi thank god give 
Secondly, from our text, it tells us, Mayo lang gid kay angels, hindi permanente iya kaakig, nor will he ha harbor his anger forever. In other translations, harbor is translated to remain, keep, and holding grudge. Who holds a grudge over someone? You may have at one point in your life dwelt on that ill feeling of holding a grudge. No, nagsiguro mga three months, one week, five hours, nga nagdumot, and the person you hold a grudge against can't come to you. Hindi pwede, daw hindi ka dapat sa pakun. Or they cannot ask help from you. Or you may even entertain the thought of ignoring that person altogether. Kaya man ginadumtan mo siya. Yet, our God will not succumb to that. Buti na lang, hindi siya nagtatanim ng galit. Hindi siya madumot. He may get angry for who would not be. Kung kapila man tabi magkasala, paliwat-liwat na lang ang ato ng mga sala. We commit sin, sometimes intentionally. Basik mga kigid man siya. Dapat lang siguro, he deserves that. Some other times, out of ignorance na nagkasala kita. But the truth remains that God hate sins. But thanks be to God, He does not harbor he does not keep his anger, he does not remain angry, or he does not hold a grudge against us. Buti na lang. Mayo lang gid, ang Diyos wala man nagasilot sang nagakabagay sa atun sala. He does not treat us as our sins deserve. Amo na siya ang ginhambal sa NIV, sa New International Version. Sa na uh, New American Standard Bible naghambal siya. He has not dealt with us according to our sins because if he does, I'm not sure if I am uh, personally if I am still alive. The wages of our sin is death. Buti na lang, it is not how God treats us. When we do him wrong, when we offend him, when we refuse to obey him time and time again, consider your ways with people. How do we feel when someone offends us and come to, us, come to us asking for forgiveness or maybe some would be asking for more of your patience? Ang inabalang ka pangayo lang, sorry, ka pangayo lang pagpasensya, though may plano gid nga magliwat, do we demand an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth? Tungod sing ilang ang mga sala? Actually, I have this reflection about this eye for an eye thing. This is how exactly deserved punishment looks like. Naipit ka sang salakyan, ipton mo man to ang naipit sa imo. Hindi nga patsyon mo siya o kastiguhon mo. Hindi na naiyakaron eye for an eye. Eye for an arm na naiyakaron. And God who inspired the Old Testament eye for an eye concept is not exacting vengeance against us in every single sin we do whether we commit a simple sin like lying, Diba? Ginakonsider na ito nga simple lang man. Ang gabutig, mas, da, mas mortal yung asala kun makapatay ka. Pero bisan ano pa nga sa isang sala ang ginihimo na ito? Ang Diyos wala nagasilot sa nagakabagay sa ato nga sala. Mayo lang gid. Praise God. Buti na lang ganun ang ating panganoon. And the last buti na lang talaga in Psalm 103 is the fact that God does not deal with us harshly as our sins deserve. That is from the New Living Translation, or kung sa the message ng translation, does not pay us back in full because of our wrongs. He has not repaid us for the evil we have done. He does not repay us according to our iniquities. In contrast to the previous buti na lang, this verse speaks about an active response. The treatment, no, ang hambal nga, He does not treat us the way we deserve, Passive na siya ang response ang ginoo sa aton nga sins. Kung baga, kung, kung may ara kita sang, sang gina-deserve, so wala lang na siya anay amo ang gina, ginahimo sa aton nga ginoo. Pero imagine if that is unleashed, sang anger, sang ginoo. If that is released, if that is allowed, what could become of us? A lot of people when Typhoon Yolanda hit the country thought that God must have unleashed His anger toward us. If it's true, can you imagine if tutuod gigali, no? Rightful wrath sang ginoo nga gina-deserve naton ang nag-abot sa aton. Kung gina-consider naton nga grabe na gigali to ang Yolanda and the fact that God is not really nga ginahimo or ginahatag niya sa aton what we deserve. Buti na lang talaga ng aton yung ginoo wala ginahatag sa aton ang gina-deserve naton nga punishment. 
kay sa pamatya ko lang, we cannot survive the full extent of the punishment of our sins. But thank be, thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord. Buti na lang talaga, iba si Lord. So we ask ourselves why. Nga ah, nga nga amo ni si Lord, nga nga um, ang iya nga pagpalangga sa aton, nga may mga may mga bagay nga hindi niya ginaalaw sa aton. It is because in Psalm 103 verses 8 and 11 to 14, the Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed, he remembers that we are dust. We thank God that there are many things that he did for us. We thank him for the things he didn't do or he didn't allow to happen. It is because of who he is. Ina tungod kay amo na siya yang aton nga Ginoo. Ambugid na iya ang characters ang aton nga Ginoo. His very nature is to love because God is love. He cannot deny himself even though we continuously den defy him or disobey him. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 verses 11 to 13 naghambal dira si Paul. Here is a trustworthy saying. If we died with him, he will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If, this, if we disown him, he will also disown us if we are faithless. Mangin faithless man balang ginoo sa ato? No. If we are faithless, he remains faithful for he cannot disown himself. And so we give him thanks. Let us live and die for him. Endure and not disown him. His blessings abide sa aton ng mga kabuhi. Just count the ways. And even those things nga makahambag kita, mayo lang yun. Amen. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. All my days, I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up, until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Let's declare this. Oh, my life, you have been faithful. Oh, my life, you have been so. Yeah.
Thank you, Lord, for this time that we could celebrate your presence in worship. That we could count our blessings because we have received so many good gifts from you. Gift of life, healing, provisions, and many more. As a matter of fact, there is no way for us to fathom your love and compassion. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word that reminds us, encourages us, propels us. To live out the faith that we have in Jesus Christ so that people can have a taste of Jesus so that people can see the reflection of the light of Jesus through our witness give us the grace and courage To become powerful witnesses of the gospel of Jesus Christ we continue to intercede on behalf of our brothers and sisters who are facing some struggles trials problems you will meet them along the way you will meet them where they are, especially that they will. Re I pray that they will receive your help. They will receive help from you. That your presence will alleviate their pains may your healing touch be upon them that they will receive healing for those who are bereaved we pray for your comforting presence to sustain them Lord in times of loss in times of bereavement times of grief may mga kuturan kami nga nadulaan sa ilang miyembro sa panimalay tatapagid ini nga mga kuturan na mong gino we continue to entrust to you our lives our city our country we are facing lots of crises but I thank you Lord for your daily provisions pero nagapangamuyo ikami yan we intercede kami on behalf of our country kabay pag ino nga matapos na ning COVID-19 nga ginatubang namon that it will no longer be a threat to us 
ang Jera dito sa Ukraine that has affected all the communities in the world in various aspects. Nagapangamuyo ko ginoo nga kabay pag ginoo nga matapos na initanan kaga maganhagan man ang mga problema nga ginadulot sini. Damo sa mga kotora namon nga nag experience sa kapigaduhon tungod sa uh, mga economic setbacks brought about by many factors. But we believe that you are our provider. And you provide our needs on a daily basis. Very timely. And most of the time, mysteriously. So, hindi naman mas... Ma 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 Matungkad niya pa maagi, ginahimunaan mo nga mong kinanglanon. Salamat, Gigino. We entrust to you um, our preparation sa damo-damo, ginyang activities na tubang namon. We entrust to you all these. Buligay kami, Gino. Nga matigayon ni Nitanan successfully. We entrust to our lives and the lives of our family. Tipigay kami, Gino. Palayo kami sa mga balatian. Kag, um, try kami sa mga lawas. Kakugi, kusog, kakusog, kabakod sa luwad lang tanan. We bring back all the praises and the glory to the name of Jesus Christ who is our Lord and Savior, our faithful friend. We entrust this prayer. Amen. Salamat yun mga kauturan sa inyong matutong mapag-upod per me sa aton niya midweek worship kag prayer meeting. Um... Hopefully, uh, magabot ang tiyempo no? uh, nga makakinita na kita face-to-face -face sa pag-celebrate si ni kada Merkoles. No? Uh, pero while uh, nagahulat kita si Nang Ateneon, let us continue to uh, meet uh, sa sining nga pamagi no? uh, through live stream. Padayong ka mga mag-upod sa aton sa pagpangamuyo. Kaya nagapati kita sa uh, regardless of the mood of our prayer, ginahugpong gitsang ginoo ang aton mga pagpangamuyo kaginapamatian niya git kay you know we serve a prayer answering God and so uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you Amen